Well, welcome back to Channel Arm. One of the questions I've been getting is how I uh, came about getting my own police car. Well, this is something I had built uh, out of an old Volvo that I had kind of kicking around. Uh, so it had been sitting for several years. I dug it out of the junk pile, and, uh, you know, first thing I need to do is find some lights. And once I got it going, I got online, found a place, to a swap and trade type of thing, and I found some lights for a couple hundred bucks. So I traveled about an hour and a half in a snowstorm to get these lights, but I really wanted them. That's what makes the police car itself. And uh, they're there, nice and safe and sound in the back seat on the way back. And I uh, got them back, and I couldn't wait to try them, so I threw them on my Jeep just to see if they would work, and they worked fantastic. I drug the car in, started figuring out how I was going to uh, do this. I put them on top, as you can see, the cable is kind of running down into the engine compartment. And these use a lot of power, a tremendous amount of power. I thought about maybe taking the halogens and switching them over to LED. It really didn't work out. So, so I put them on there. It looks like it's going to work really well. Figured out how I was going to mount them on, then started wiring it in. Next thing was to paint it. So I started with the front fender. As you can see, it came out real well. I just used a rattle can to do this, just some paint from uh, Lowe's and uh, just masked it all up and figured I'd do the front first. Uh, if it got real close, it really wasn't that real great looking, but on film it was fantastic. Then I did the rear quarter, uh, uh, took, the, uh, took the trunk next after that, and then uh, pretty much all I had left was the hood. So uh, as you can see here, I'm just doing the trunk, and then uh, sanded down the hood, got the hood all maxed up, and uh, started painting that. And uh, for a rattle can, this came out really nice, and there it is right there. So you can see a little imperfection there, but on film it's fantastic. And it's kind of the uh, finished uh, product right there. Then I had a major spring problem on the front uh, left-hand side, so I had to go ahead and replace that. The problem with an old 1999 uh, Volvo is parts are hard to find. I had to actually get that shipped in from somewhere across the world. So there it is, pretty much all done. Um, and this side here was for the film that I needed with the stickers and the law. And uh, this is kind of the film that we had uh, been working on. So here it is in action. Uh, really, really worked fantastic. I'm, I'm real happy with it. Uh, so that's basically how I came about getting my own police car uh, for, for the films that I'm doing. So I hope this kind of answers some of the questions that people have been asking, you know, how I came about it. I built my own. <laughs> Not a whole lot to it. Uh, so thanks an awful lot for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.